नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड द हाईलाइट ऑफ द टुडे ब्रीफिंग इज ओवर द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया इन एंस रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी विल कंटिन्यू टिल फोर्थ ऑफ अप्रैल हाउ एवर ओवर द पार्ट्स ऑफ सेंट्रल इंडिया एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ पेनिसुलर इंडिया वेरी लाइकली टू एक्सपीरियंस हीट वेव कंडीशन फ्रॉम सेकेंड अप्रैल टिल फोर्थ ऑफ अप्रैल इफ यू लुक फॉर द ऑब्जर्व वेदर देन स्टर्डे वार्म नाइट कंडीशन वर प्रिवेल्ड ओवर सम पार्ट्स ऑफ ईस्ट मध्य प्रदेश एंड इट आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स ओवर द मध्य महाराष्ट्र एंड स्टडे हेल स्टॉम एक्टिविटी वॉज ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड रिपोर्टेड ओवर द हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड एंड ईस्ट मध्य प्रदेश If you look for the today's uh, yesterday's maximum temperatures, they mainly over the Punjab. The maximum temperatures are in the range of 28 to 30 degrees centigrade. However, over the Haryana and northern parts of Rajasthan, northwest Uttar Pradesh, maximum temperatures are in the range of 32 to 34 degrees centigrade. Over remaining parts of Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, the maximum temperatures are somewhere in the range of 36 to 38 degrees centigrade. These temperatures are very likely to continue in the same range uh, mainly uh, during next 24 hours and from. tomorrow onwards these temperatures likely to fall by about 2 degrees centigrade and from the second of april the maximum temperatures very likely to rise by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade over the punjab haryana uttar pradesh and rajasthan over the central india and over the mainly gujarat region and maharashtra the maximum temperatures are in the range of 36 to 38 degrees centigrade however at one or two places maximum temperatures uh, are seen in the range of 40 or 41 degrees centigrade over the interior parts of the maharashtra over these regions the maximum temperatures very uh, likely to increase by about 2 to 3 degrees centigrade from tomorrow onwards for the subsequent 3 to 4 days over the east india the maximum temperatures are in the range of 35 to 38 degrees centigrade and these temperatures are very likely to rise by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade from second april onwards over the south peninsular india over the most parts of the south peninsular india the maximum temperatures are in the range of 38 to 39 degrees centigrade at one or two places these temperatures are in the range of 41 or 42 degree centigrade and over the peninsular india also these temperatures continue to be in the same range except tamil nadu kerala and parts of the rural sima where the maximum temperatures very likely to rise by about 2 to 3 degree centigrade in the upcoming 3 days if you look the departure wise then mainly over the uh, at one or two places over the uttar pradesh over the southeast uttarakhand and east madhya pradesh the maximum temperatures are above normal by about 3 to 5 degree centigrade and if you look for the heat wave conditions then from uh, tomorrow uh, the heat wave conditions are likely at one or two places over the telangana and rural sima and on second of april also telangana rural sima likely to experience heat wave conditions on over the madhya pradesh and over the bidharva very likely to experience heat wave conditions at one or two places from second april onwards however over the north hindri karnataka and telangana also likely to experience heat wave conditions from second of april onwards if you look for the max minimum temperatures the minimum temperatures are in the range of 16 to 18 degree centigrade over the punjab some parts of the haryana and these are in the range of 22 to 24 degree centigrade over the south rajasthan west madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh over the uh, mainly over the uh, eastern coast and some parts of the western coasts and some parts of the peninsular india the minimum temperatures are in the range of 24 to 26 degree centigrade which can be seen in the yellow color these temperatures are above normal by about 3 to 5 degree centigrade over many parts of east uttar pradesh some parts of the west uttar pradesh and uh, uh, east northern parts of the madhya pradesh and some parts of the bihar and some parts of the madhya maharashtra if you look for the warm night conditions then uh, mainly over the madhya pradesh likely to experience experience warm night conditions uh, during next two days and over the मध्य महाराष्ट्र एंड मराठवाड़ा आल्सो लाइकली टू एक्सपीरियंस वार्म नाइट कंडीशंस एट वन आर टू प्लेसेस फॉर दिस नेक्स्ट थ्री डेज हाउ एवर ओवर द तेलंगाना वार्म नाइट कंडीशंस विल बी सीन एट वन आर टू प्लेसेस ऑन टुडे एंड टुमारो नाइट एज फार एज द उड़ीसा एज कंसर्न वार्म नाइट कंडीशंस वेरी लाइकली टू प्रिवेल एट वन आर टू प्लेसेस ओवर द उड़ीसा फ्रॉम सेकेंड अप्रैल टिल फोर्थ ऑफ अप्रैल इफ यू लुक फॉर द टुडे मेन चिप्स एंड ऑप्टिक फीचर्स दैन टुडे द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंस कैन बी सीन ओवर द जम्मू कश्मीर रीजन एंड इंडियो साइक्लोन सर्कुलेशन लाइज ओवर द south haryana over the peninsular india a trough runs from the south uh, uh, interior tamil nadu up which goes up to the interior parts of the maharashtra across the karnataka over the east india a trough runs from bihar which goes up to the 
northern parts of the Bay of Bengal in the lower tropospheric levels and over the northeast India, a circulation can be seen over the northeast Assam in the lower tropospheric levels. Because of these synoptic features, if you look for the heavy rainfall and heavy snowfall warning, then mainly the Arachal Pradesh very likely to experience light to moderate rainfall activity over the most places and heavy rainfall and heavy snowfall activity in one or two places during all the uh, next five days. However, today on 31st of March, Arunachal Pradesh is also likely to experience isolated very heavy rainfall activity in one or two places. It means the uh, at one or two places the rainfall will be in the range of 12 to 20 degrees and uh, 20 uh, uh, centimeter. Over the Assam and Meghalaya and Mizoram and Tripura also likely to experience heavy rainfall activity during next two days. However, Assam and Meghalaya uh, also likely to experience very heavy rainfall activity on today. So we have issued the orange alert for the Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and Meghalaya for today. However, for the remaining areas, remaining days, we have issued the yellow alert because of the heavy rainfall activity over the region. If you look for the rainfall activity over the other parts of the country, so mainly over the northeast India, main weather uh, very likely to confine over the northeast India where the light to moderate rainfall activity will be seen over the many parts of Arachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Tiripura in the upcoming five days. However, over the western Himalayan region, Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand likely to experience light rainfall and snowfall activity and today also from tomorrow onwards the rainfall activity over the Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand will decrease. A fresh western disturbance likely to affect Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and adjoining areas from the night of th second April because of that there will be enhanced rainfall and snowfall activity over the Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand on 3rd of April and 4th of April and even over the adjoining parts of the Punjab and northern parts of the Haryana and Chandigarh also likely to experience light rainfall activity on 3rd and 4th of April. Over the peninsular India, only Kerala and Tamil Nadu likely to experience light rainfall activity at one or two places during next four to five days. In North interior Karnataka likely to experience light rainfall activity on today and tomorrow. And uh, uh, over the East India, mainly the Gangetic West Bengal, Sikkim area, Odisha, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, East Madhya Pradesh, and interior parts of the Maharashtra also likely to experience light rain rainfall activity at one or two places on today. Rest parts of the country uh, very likely to be dry in the upcoming five days which uh, can be seen in the white color in these pictures for more detailed weather information you can visit the md website you can follow us on our facebook page our youtube channel and our twitter page thank you